Okay, so after a few games of tweaking with this build, uh, I think this is what I've landed on as basically the new alternative, like, Devour Hope type build you can do with Demogorgon. Um, I had barbecue in one of these spots, but instead of running barbecue, uh, I decided to swap out barbecue for Undying, and then kind of using Lepros Lycan as the substitute to the aura reading, which is just as good. Lycan is very, very good. Um, but basically, the idea behind this is you run Devour Undying, per usual, with Lifeguard Whistle, so you can know when people are on it, but we have the brand new Scourge Hook Monstrous Shrine. Brand new fancy perk. And then uh, good old Pain Res, too. Just to give yourself another Scourge. So basically, you're gonna be hooking people, and then the idea is to leave, of course, and when you leave, Monstrous Shrine is not going to, if you hook them on a Scourge, that is, you'll get Pain Res value, but then Monstrous Shrine makes it so the entity progresses 20% faster as long as you're uh, at least 24 meters away. So, this will basically light a flame under the Survivor team's butt to go save the person uh, who's on the hook, which is then going to give you Devour value and basically uh, you kind of win-win with this build no matter what. Basically, if they end up keep saving and saving and saving, you're getting Devour, you win that way. If they end up seal or uh, cleansing your, your Devour Hope and they get rid of uh, Devour Undying, you still have Pain Resonance, which is pretty decent, and this. And basement hooks become scourges, and as long as you're not staying around the area, as Demogorgon, the idea is to hook people, then teleport away, then they'll, they will uh, be sacrificed faster. And basically, after a few games, I felt like this was the one. This was the build. Uh, and you'll see in this match what this can do. So this is like the new alternative uh, Devour Hope demo. So I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for watching. Humid heat is the worst. It really is. Humid heat is fucking misery. Oh god, I hate it. Well, see Reaper, I don't even need a specific program. Thank you for the for the for the help potentially, but all you have to do is just add a noise suppression filter on OBS and it, it would cut it out. But see, the reason I don't the reason I don't put a noise suppression filter on my mic is because it also makes your voice sound weird. Like it, it lowers the quality of your mic. <coughs> So I try to get as as few filters on my mic as possible to keep it sounding like normal. Otherwise, you you start you start to sound like you have too much like compression and shit on your on your voice, and it doesn't look good, or it doesn't sound good rather. In my opinion, at least. Not to say I think Ots's mic sounds bad. Just with my setup, I think it makes my shit sound terrible. When I get a window unit, I I said I have one, but it's too loud. My window's like right next to me, so you you guys would just hear it the whole time, like especially while I talk. I just I just don't want to deal with that. It's too loud. <clears throat> uh, hello, Elnor. I know this person's right here, but I'm gonna let them save for devour. Go right ahead. Go right ahead. Because if she, if I hit her and then she runs in there, then I'm potentially losing a stack, and I don't want that. Alright, nice, there's one. We can go get the portal on this one, too. That's fine. They can spend their time sealing that. Aw, oh, dude, smart. Kind of. Kind of smart. Not entirely. Yo, lucky break? Look at this. <laughs> A lucky break lucky break gamer. Oh dude, the overlay! Uh, I'm sorry guys, I got I got shocked again. Fuck! I'm stupid. I'm stupid. What is the red add-on for? You see auras when you teleport. So it's for information. Oh look at that dude. Extra pain res value, let's go. Exactly, that, that yeah, that cat's meat, yeah. <laughs> Hiya! Are you are you serious? That could have been the coolest shred in the fucking world, game. Are you serious? Why do we have all these these damn invisible walls off the off the tops of our buildings? Why? Why do we have to limit the fun, guys? 
Why? Why? Please, let me just shred and get mad distance. I want to get big boy distance. That is actually so sad. I don't know why that's there though, man. Like, the thing is, there's no consistency with that either. Some maps don't have those walls. And then you have maps like this, maps like Ormond, that do. Or like Haddonfield, like the, the bushes that are on Haddonfield that are three feet tall. Their hitbox extends up to space. Gets into the fucking atmosphere, dude. Uh, it's a lobby portrait that you get for the uh, prestige. I'm gonna wait for someone to save before we get this hit real quick. Come on. Oh no! Oh shit, I'm whiffing! Oh no! Of course, now, now they save. The second she goes to throw the pallet, now they save. Makes a lot of sense. Unlucky. Come here, bud. She has to throw it here. Or she dies. Sick. There we go. Yo, what's up, foo? What's up, Puckles? What's up, foo? Well, I don't think we make it to this in time, but I can at least teleport to him. Hey! They might get it, but... Oh, nice! They got off of it. Sick. Off the record. Should die here. Yeah, can't die hard either. Has to end. Very nice. Do, do, do. I'm gonna take her way over here, away from the scourge. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Wait, do I make this? Oh god. I have to go around. No! Please, yes! Oh my god. How off the record if she cleansed the totem? Does cleansing, does that count as a uh, conspicuous action? She could have been doing the portal. Yeah. The portal portals don't count, I don't think, so it could have been a portal. Absolutely. That's probably what it was then. Bro. Unlucky. More off the record. Okay, so if the totem counts, then yeah, she definitely was unlucky, man. She oh, you're dead, too. Someone's gonna save right now. Three, two... Yeah, do it. Yeah, save. Go for it. Someone's dying here. Yep. She was watching me. <laughs> it's either Michaela just rots on hook with Monstrous, or Lori's dead. Yeah, okay, so anyways, if, if the totem is a conspicuous action, then yeah, she was sealing the portal. 100%. That's what she was doing. Oh fuck, I don't have any portals. No, no, no. Wait! Oh, what the hell is this? Oh no. Well, GG. This build is sick. I like this a lot. This is a pretty cool build. Like, even if they get Devour, we still have Monstrous Shrine to sacrifice pe people faster. She might still have off the record? Yeah, she does. Dude, this is fine. Off the record in this situation? Like, yeah, she gets a hit. A free hit, but she's not doing anything, so I don't really care, honestly. And we're gonna go the whole game without ever seeing the Felix, and this guy's gonna be the one that gets Hatch and escapes and secures the MMR. Easy clap. Thank you, see. Amazing. Yeah, Felix 
dude will never see the whole game. Easy MMR, easy clap, guys. That's how you do it. Look at that, dude. Wholesome gamers. Love to see it, man. Love to see it. Uh, hello. Uh, Hall? I don't know how to say your name exactly, but, uh, yes. I have. I have done that. It's quite poggers. Off the record. Off the record. Off the record. Wow, three off the records in this game. Yeah. But with lightweight, too. Honestly, bro, I haven't really been able to see value from this. Or, like, notice it. I feel like it's hard to notice lightweight value. Because I just won't even see the scratch marks, really. 